Last winter, we went in search of a mountain tarn hidden up in the hills of the Lake District. And with such freezing temperatures and heavy fog, it was one of the most atmospheric experiences of our lives. It literally felt like we were swimming in the clouds. Only thing is, this particular tarn is famous for having stunning surroundings, and we just couldn't see any of them. So now it was a clear day at the beginning of spring, and we wanted to head back to see if this wild swimming spot really was as beautiful as we'd been told. It's spring! <laughs> spring was now in full swing in the Lake District. Leaves were sprouting, daffodils were out, fields filled with sheep and lambs. It was still pretty nippy with a strong wind, but most importantly, there was no ice and no fog to cloud our view. And we'd picked up a crucial item that should hopefully make these chilly dips a little bit easier. Uh, definitely should have brought outdoor swimming shoes because the ah, So now we are armed with swim shoes. Right, let's find this town. The route to the town was roughly about 15 miles, the first section on these beautifully scenic and really quiet roads, and then this really gruelling off-road track which snakes up around the valley and climbs up to the town. Absolutely beautiful, right? Stunning. This is so nice, the wind keeps just blowing these like dynamic clouds coming over. Really cool, very atmospheric. So we're going this track along here which curves around and then goes in between there and there's a tarn up, it's about 500 meters. We have been there once before but it was so foggy that we couldn't see anything so now it's the first time we're actually seeing this valley and it's absolutely beautiful. that borderline temperature where we know we've got a hard climb. It's pretty breezy and a bit nippy, so do we take jackets off? We're going to say no. I think it's good to get there a little bit warm as well. Yeah, keep your body... Because last time I think, actually, well, no, we were like sweating our butts off, and it didn't... I don't know if we were sweating our butts off, but we were definitely warm. Yeah, my butt was... <laughs> my butt was ready. <laughs> It's really nice coming up now on a clear day because when we came up before we could not see any of this valley at all and it's so nice now that seeing it all open up and it's absolutely beautiful. We've got the last little push to go. We can hear water, so we must be close. Okay, so perhaps it wasn't perfect conditions, but this time round we could see the tarn and the landscape, and it was definitely worth the return journey. And I really love how these natural areas are so changed by the weather. The beauty is that you can come at different times of year with different conditions and each experience will be completely unique. This is honestly one of the most coolest, most atmospheric places I think I've ever been. You ready for a swim? No. <laughs> it's a little bit windy. It's really windy. This is probably quite a good time to tell you that although we love outdoor swimming, we are far from expert. Are you excited? A bit, a bit nervous. It's quite windy. Uh, it's definitely not warm. <laughs> so yeah, we will see. The wind is quite chilly. I am glad that we have shoes because here there are so many rocks in the water and this was where it really hurt my feet last time.
was like such a tiny mouth of clothing. It's like, why on earth would I be taking off? Why am I taking this off to put this off? <laughs> okay. Since coming off that hill, I've really, really cooled down. <laughs> Trying to warm. <laughs> Yeah. Feels weird with shoes on. These shoes do make it a lot easier. <laughs> oh god, it's so really cold there! The wind is really, really cold. But it's still, the sun is kind of warm, but the wind is really cold. But it's so much easier with these shoes. It's beautiful as well. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> In honesty, both times felt pretty damn freezing, but it's just one of those things that once you're in, you never regret it. Feel good for going in? Happy? Good for it? Yeah, I do. Oh, wait, oh, wait, feel good for it. Big legs. Legs. Got thermal trousers, trousers, waterproofs, two pairs of socks, <laughs> shoes. Top. Thermal, top, two, <laughs> two mid layers, insulated jacket, waterproof, thermal neck buff, hat, other buff, gloves. Oh god, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> like, be able to see this place it's before so we couldn't beautiful. see anything. It was unbelievable, like so atmospheric. Mm. But at the same time, like, it's amazing to be able to see this and just see the landscape and slowly feeling my toes. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't think you can beat a day spent cycling up into the hills and to a swimming spot. That first foggy swim was so atmospheric, but seeing the landscape around us now just was incredible. It definitely lived up to all the expectations. I would 100% recommend checking out Boskel Town because it's such a fantastic spot. And if you know of any other cool swimming spots around the Lake District and you fancy sharing them, we would love to check them out. Ready to make a move? I'm quite enjoying being here, but I guess so. I guess we have to leave eventually. You do. I mean, we don't have to leave now. We probably should. My toes are getting a bit cold now. Yeah, my toes have not got warm. <laughs> I'm still pretty cold. So I've left all of my layers on because we're going downhill for the first bit. So my thinking was it's going to be freezing. And then, as I start to warm up, I'll do that really annoying thing where I want to stop every five minutes to take off a layer. <laughs> Just two months down the line, but this felt like two completely different landscapes and two completely unique experiences. Riding up in the fog and swimming in the clouds was so mysterious and atmospheric, but seeing the landscape around you just filled you with inspiration and wonder. It really makes you think that it's always worth making the most of every condition because they all just help you appreciate things in slightly different ways. Now to take all of our layers off. Ha, oh, I'm hot already. Wow. 
After a long winter, cycling back home with the sun shining and so much life on the landscape feels so good. It's such a nice way to welcome in the spring. And even better when you know there's a reward waiting for you at the end. Is it what? Oh shit, you said a half, didn't you? Yes. You did say a half. What a naughty person. Shit. That's good. First cycle of spring. Mm -hmm. And it was so nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really nice seeing everything come to life now and thinking. With the bulbs and the trees this. and the daffodils and everything coming to life. Coming out of hibernation. Just like us. Yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. <laughs>